This is definitely a happy note to end on. What happens if we go down here, though? Do I want to save here is the question. Well, there's not much for me to do if I go back to the previous save point. It's another throne covered by a white sheet. I just wanted to see if it would fill me with determination or have a message or something. Well, since I know how short the credits are, does it really just let me go through the entire world if I want to? Oh, what's down here, I wonder? Where the souls were. I was gonna give my thoughts on the LP, but first I wanna still- but they're all open? The coffin is empty? You didn't notice before, but there's something like... mummy wrappings at the bottom of it. Um... We knew it was empty before, but... mummy wrappings? Like, it was filled before? It said human's tomb originally. Coffin is empty. Was Azrael here before? And he changed it once he got out? I don't even know. So I'm gonna walk around for a bit and I know how short the credits are now so I guess I'll just give my thoughts on this game and the LP in general. For the LP itself, I'm sure it could have been organized better and been a more entertaining experience if I had known everything beforehand and orchestrated it like I have, I would want to for any sort of game that's important to me, like Earthbound or anything like that. But this is something that I never really thought I would get to experience. It is a game that gives me that feeling of the three Mother games but I got to experience it for the first time, along with pretty much everyone else in the world. I'm a bit late to the party, I know, but I wanted to experience this blind because I knew it was very special and impactful to just experience everything that this game was about. I would not stop hearing about it. It was just constantly talked about, it was being raved about, and it's so much more than just a earthbound feely game, it's more than a game that is like a spiritual successor to Earthbound. I don't think of it as anything like that. It's something entirely of its own. It's something truly, truly amazing. I'm so happy that it lived up to the expectations. I wasn't sure about it before, like when first going through, I was expecting it to, I was expecting to just play the entire game from beginning to end one sitting. I would be absolutely engrossed and drove, driven in right from the beginning, but it's very, interesting the way that it goes about all of its like quirks and mechanics it's very hilarious every single solitary fight with every minor enemy has a joke of some kind and it's memorable and it's funny but then they get to these super intense moments with all the main characters the main characters are so incredibly deep and interesting and likable but then as soon as you get done with your fights with them they become so such giant clowns and it's just so sick and fun. And like, after the final battle, after such an emotional experience, they're all just making jokes with each other about anime and texting and everything. It's so weird, and I don't even know how to describe it. And I'm not sure where this elevator is taking me. Is it actually taking me back to the uh, regular world? Could I explore the entire world? I guess it's sort of like Earthbound how I could explore the entire world um, when everything's all said and done. Oh my god, I can only imagine, like, where can I visit that might have something for me? Oh, I'm gonna be here forever. I don't stinkin' know. Wait, this is the lab. Yeah, cuz... I guess that makes sense, but the question is, will the lab be... Is the elevator fixed? Can I get out of here? Can I really explore the entire world again? And if so, what would I want to do, exactly? Guess we'll go back in here. Takes us to the beginning. Is there... Uh... I might... I just want... Hello. Yeah. We were hired by Metaton to destroy you, but since he never paid us, we all decided to quit. No hard feelings. It's a good thing I didn't completely skip over all of this. Um, I wanted to see if the giant skull was still in here, the one that Azrael turned into. Uh, the neutral final boss is Nightmare Fuel. It's sleeping. It's talking. It's taking a nap. I thought I was talking a nap. Uh, the neutral final boss is Nightmare Fuel. It was incredible. Like, it's interesting that, like, 
I enjoy both experiences. I would not recommend going through just the the pacifist run and having that be your first playthrough. I would recommend... Well, I was trying... The thing is, I was trying to do the true pacifist run on my first playthrough, but I messed up. But in this sense, if you do mess up, I recommend that you just go with it. I would not encourage you to reset and make sure you get the true pacifist run. It's an empty trash can. So there were no consequences to that as far as I'm aware, but... Um, it's just interesting that I would not have gotten that experience of seeing that nightmare fuel and all the other stuff with Asgore and like the the sort of hints that lead up to the thing with Azriel, you only find that in the neutral route, so you have to experience it in order to get that information, which is really interesting. So and the game is not long at all. I backtracked to everything in the matter of less than a day, so it was not difficult in the slightest to just play through it again. And there aren't that many changes that I experienced, so it was basically just um, the, some of the characters said that they feel like they met us before, but that was it. 99% of the game was still the same, so I didn't have to do a full repeat playthrough of just like making sure I don't miss anything. It was all more or less basically the same, so I didn't have to worry about that, but it's interesting how I would recommend you experience the neutral and pacifist route. Uh, we're back here, my god. Sorry, we aren't allowing any more guests at this time, or ever again. Uh, what do we got over here? Um, are you guys on your way out? Guess I'll catch up with you later. Good news, the elevator started working again. But now it's been so busy, we still haven't gotten the chance to ride it. I'm not going in there, I don't care. As a slime, I'm overjoyed. The elevator is in use. Fine! Yep, he's here. Talk. I'm sorry, haha. <laughs> it's against the rules to talk to customers who haven't bought anything. Cool. I don't care. I'm out of here. I stinking hate him so stinking much. I don't care if he has some super special dialogue. I do not care. No response. It's locked from the inside. No response. And he's a lot quicker this time. No response. I still don't know what I could have slipped under the wall or under the door with this door, but whatever. I'm trying to finish up work. Uh, I guess we're just taking a trip down memory lane. I still need to do that live stream for Earthbound whenever I get around to that. Sorry, the resort's shutting down. But I think you'll find it still great to pass through. Yeah, we're just taking a trip down memory lane. Uh, Royal Memorial Fountain Build 201X Metaton added last week. And the thing is, I still need to experience the genocide route. I am aware of the existence of it. What happens if I do kill everyone? But here's my question, everyone recommended that I experience the genocide route last. Why is that? I'm wondering. Maybe we'll be able to get two feet without running into a puzzle. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I'm wondering why they want me to experience the genocide route last. Is there more to this story that gets experienced? But the whole point of the game is to not kill anyone, so why would they- I feel like... Uh, we're all free? Oh, guess I can stop licking this ficus. But I don't want to look like I messed up, so I'll keep going. A fruit. <laughs> um, I wonder if we can find Metaton in here somewhere. But yeah, everyone recommended that I do the genocide route last. I'm wondering why, because this is sort of the note I would want to end on, not just like... I assume the genocide route is just for like, an extra experience. Maybe there's like a spoiler in the genocide route that would uh, ruin this experience for me, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, we got these two again. Freedom, I'm a human. Future, do you like cats? Oh, they do have dialogue, so... Maybe I'll go back and talk- I no, I'm not talking to that guy, I don't care. I don't care if he has cool dialogue, I do not care. Freedom. So, we're like, totally free now, huh? Yeah, like, totally free. Like, cool. Yeah, like, cool. Like, millennia being in prison finally over? Yeah, that's pretty chill, I guess. I'm a human. Oh, oops, really? Uh, well, when we said, um, uh, we were hyped for the destruction of humanity, we were uh, just, like, uh, joking, you know? Did we say that? Probably. It's like practically our catchphrase. Really? I thought our catchphrase was. But 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 Brandy's the best. C -c -c Candy's the coolest. Um no, we like literally never said that. Can it be though? Can it be? Hmm. Now that we're gonna be free. OMG! We can finally fulfill our dream of having a pet cat. That's like your dream, Caddy. But Brady. I don't want to have a dream without you in it. Aw, Kate. And in my dream, you clean up after the cat. Kate? 
Do you like cats? Me, me, yeah, yeah, I love cats, love cats. They're they like like so tasty, so cute. Ready no! I'm just kidding, kind of. Anyway, when was the last time you even saw a cat around here? Oh, just the other day. There was this cute little white cat walking around. It was like so clueless looking. I pet it for like an hour. Cut eh? Yeah, brother? I think that was like a dog. Dogs are just firm cats. <laughs> that is true. Dogs are just firm cats. Oh, uh, so they do have like see like later you later and stuff. <laughs> that is true when you think about it. They are very firm. <laughs> and they're they're like cats, but just firmer and stuff. Oh, I love this guy. I'm so excited to sell ice cream on the surface. If all humans like are like you, I think it'll be really popular. Undyne told us that the Royal Guard is being disbanded. Like, bummer. Guess we'll have to get used to love and peace. He seems happy. <laughs> Oh my god, I don't even know what else to say. I know this LP could have been organized a lot better if I had orchestrated everything beforehand, but I like how it all turned out. Uh, Metatoni recognized my voice from when I called in, and he he gave me his dress. I'm so ha ha ha. I think that's where Muffet is in that door, so let me just go back over here real quick, Aruni. Uh, the heat, uh, I remember, actually remember his name this time around. Heat Flamesman. What? Do you want a rematch? Or get it a rematch because a match lights a fire? No. Uh, if we go down here. This is. Oh, this is that area. Uh, let me go see Muffet. Muffet's a weird character. Like, she's not super involved. Like, all the other main characters are very much involved in the story, but Muffet's the only main prominent character that just sort of shows up and is just like, yep, I exist. Uh, maybe she has a more prominent story in the Genesis route or the Genocide route. Bonjour, dearie. I just finished tallying up all of our donations. We finally raised enough to rescue all the spiders inside the ruins. And we'll also be able to afford four pairs of stylish sunglasses for every spider. That's it. It's so weird that, like, she just seems so important, but she doesn't really do much. Uh, maybe that'll change in the genocide route. I don't even know. So I'm still curious as to, like, why people wanted me to save that one for last, and is that really a go good note to end on, or is it just sort of something that you just experienced, because why the heck not, you've done everything else at this point, you've done the neutral, you've done the, uh, genocide, and now it's time to just see what happens when you kill everyone. <laughs> um, I'm sure it'll be heartbreaking, but we'll see, think about getting a sick skateboard. Uh, the service will be able to watch all the kinds of TV, but, but none of those shows are as good as Metatons. Where is Metaton? I feel like maybe he's in Alpha's lab. He's gotta be somewhere. He showed up, like, in the final area, so he's gotta be alive and whatnot. Just gotta find my way around here. I apologize if this is super boring to all of you, but uh, maybe I could cut stuff out if I'm just finding a lack of things to do. Here's this guy still. On the surface, I won't buy any donuts from spiders. That's my resolution. Uh, it's a spider donut. It looks more rubbery than usual. Uh, pretty much all the same stuff so far, except for all the dialogue. Uh, I'm gonna go back to Alphys' house and see if Metaton is there. I think it was L1, either L1 or R1. Uh, but yeah, I'm so happy that this game has gotten recognition on a console. And that's sort of something that I was talking about recently in a, a fan game or Discord server. Uh, when talking about the, there's, if you, in case you didn't know, there's a game called Mother 4 in development, not by Shigesatsu Wii Toy or Nintendo, it's being fan-made, but they announced a while back that they are going to, oh yeah, this led into the evil place, <laughs> they announced a while back that they are going to rebrand all of it, they're getting rid of all of the Mother assets because they don't want to deal with, um, any sort of... Uh, DMCA claims from Nintendo down the line because that's been happening with a lot of other fan games like Pokemon uh, There was some Pokemon fan game. I can't remember and then an AM2R another Metroid 2 remake Um, So I understand why they're changing the things so they don't have to deal with that later down the line Because it would be really unfortunate if all that hard work got thrown out in the end by Nintendo But I'm actually really happy that these changes are being made because now that it's gonna become its own original property It has the chance to evolve into something so much greater when it's standing out as its own identity, because if it was a fan game and it stayed online, if Nintendo didn't attack it, 
then that would be all that would ever, it would ever become. It would just be that fan game, and it couldn't ever be on a console because of its copyrighted assets. It wouldn't be able to do anything really other than just be online for free because you can't make money off of it because of the copyright and stuff and whatnot. But now that it's becoming original, they could have people pay for the game, but also it could appear on consoles one day. Undertale's on PS4 and Nintendo Switch and other games like that. Freedom Planet is another good example. It was originally going to be a Sonic fan game, but they changed all the characters into original characters. And look at it now, it's on consoles and it's getting a sequel. And like, a lot of legendary voice actors are part of it as well, which is really cool. So, I'm very much okay with- oh. I didn't do this during my second time around, I forgot. Yeah, who are you, Freedom? What? Bah, you're pulling my leg. How do I push this box without him getting mad? It's a box, presumably to be pushed. Uh, I didn't do this on my second time around, I didn't try to push it in the correct way, I kind of forgot about that, my bad. And all the borders disappear, I've just realized, so it's just uh, black borders for the rest of the area, for the rest of the game. But yeah, um, I'm very happy that Mother 4 is getting things changed to original assets, I kind of wish that they had done that from the beginning just so they don't have to backtrack and lose so much progress and everything, but I'm happy that they made this decision and I hope that they do get the chance to have their uh, project evolve into something so much greater. I hope it becomes super popular and stands out for being original and I hope it gets put on consoles one day and they get rewarded for their actions. I'm really excited to see Temi, I just realized I really want to see what she's going to say. I did pay for Kaleg, so I want to see what happens, I didn't buy her special armor, but I want to see what happens if I were to pay for her Kaleg and uh, maybe she has something new to say, maybe she's like a teacher or something like that. Temi's another great character, she's just the, the Mr. Saturn of this game, so uh, I'm okay with her having the role that she does have, she's really singing hilarious and funny. My favorite characters in the game, Papyrus is fantastic of course, like anyone knows that I love characters like him, and just skeletons in general apparently, any show or game that has a skeleton or a ghost in it. Uh, the Shy Ghosty was a, I forget her name, but she was a really cool character, I liked her a lot. Um, I wound up liking Undyne a lot more than I thought it was going to. I didn't like her all that much in the neutral route, but in the genocide route she becomes so much more of a character, so I love her in that regard, so... Oh, what we got? Wow, Tim, you know, is very good! Very good. <laughs> wow, Tim, you know, is very good! Yeah, yeah, Tim's can go flee! A pleasing development, no? Uh, the world's gonna be so much more peaceful with Temmie's running around. Whoa, wait, 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 what? Whoa, if Tams can go down surface, can see lot of cute human! Everyone's go free, but Tim! Tim not leave! Tim watch egg! Tim will be happy, happily family! Oh, I feel so bad. Everyone go free, but Tim. But your egg is hard boiled. It's a hard boiled egg. It's not gonna hatch. But Tim heard human allergies to Tim. That's okay, Tim understand. Tim also allergic to Tim. Oh no, I forgot you were the allergic one. God darn it. Oh no, that looks horrible. And that's it. Waves! Mushroom dance, mushroom dance. I'm standing in front of the mushroom dance. It symbolizes my unbridled happiness. The government told me they were willing to transplant me outside. Why didn't you smile at my dance? It almost feels a little rude. She's waiting for someone to let her out. I'll let you out, buddy. And uh, now talk to the queen herself, Temi. Hoi! Welcome to the Tem Shop! Say hello about Temi Armor, Temi History. About Wait, you got nothing else for us. What? Say hello. Hoi! I'm Temi. Uh, about Temi Armor. Tim Armor so good. Cool. Any battle become an easy victories. But who Tim think if you will use armor battles would be challenging anymore? But Tim have a solution! Tim will offer us scholarships! If you lose battle, Tim will lower the price! In fact, Oh jeez, that's... I'm surprised they got away with that. Price may already be lowered! Whoa! Congrats, simulations! Yeah, yeah, Tim got to clear Tim's studies! Tim can tell you all about the Tim and Deep History! Yeah, yeah, go to Tim's shop! Uh, buy Tim Flake, Tim Flake on sale, Tim Flake, Timmy armor. I could somewhat afford this! Uh, can I sell stuff? What do I have that I could sell? The last stream is 250G? Are you serious? The snow piece, I still have it with me. 
Uh, I gotta have something in storage that I could sell. I, I just wanna keep on a hold of the last dream real quick. Uh, sell historical box. I got a stained apron and burnt pant. I could afford the Temi armor. Uh, sell the apron. And sell the burnt pan. So I could go ahead and buy the Temi armor if I want to. And I definitely want to. Hopefully he doesn't like lock away the secret ending credits. Be like, you bought the easy route, therefore you're not allowed to see the secret ending of the credits. If that's the case, I'm gonna be really singing mad, but I'll take the risk anyway, because I love Temi. Yeah, yeah! Thanks, purchase! Uh, can I buy it again? I don't have the months. I already got it though. Uh talk about Temi armor. Temi was so good! Uh nothing else, it seems. Congratulations. Uh, doesn't seem like there's anything else for us, so we'll just exit. Boy! We could examine Temi armor. Like, oh, it's all lowercase. Info. Temi armor. Armor defense 20. The, the things you can do with a college education. Raises attack when worn. Uh, recovers HP every other turn. Invincible up Invincible ability up slightly. So it's basically just the ultimate armor. I'll hold on to it. We'll keep going. So yeah, I don't even know what I was saying, like talking about just how happy I am that the game's gonna become, uh, that Mother 4 is gonna become its like own original property and everything, so I'm excited to see what that game's gonna become in the end. Uh, as for Undertale, I'm just so happy that I finally got to play this game. I bought Undertale merchandise before I even played the game just because I knew that it would be one of my favorite games of all time, that I would love it, and when I would start playing for the first time, I sort of liked it, but I wasn't sure if... It would live up to the hype. I wasn't entirely sure. I got it. I understood why everyone loved it so much. But I knew you could do it. Temi's the only one that doesn't have anything new for us to say. Fluffy Buns Y is Asgore Goat, Asgore and Toriel Undyne. Okay, okay, I remember it clearly now. It was the monthly address at the castle, and the queen was given her part in current events. After finishing up her update, she moved to pass the microphone to the king. However, she didn't realize the microphone was still in her hands when she said, your turn, Fluffy Buns. The audience burst into laughter. Realizing what she had said, she started laughing too. After a few moments, the king held up his arms. The crowd grew silent. He learned towards the knee towards the microphone. Expression stirred. Dear citizens, thank you for coming here today. I, King Fluffy Buns, and the rest is history. That's adorable. Is Asgore a goat? Eh? Goat? Actually, that reminds me. Toriel once wore flower powdered Moo Moo. Folks kept saying nice Moo Moo to her, but she kept thinking they were calling her a cow. So she never wore it again. <laughs> what was the question again? Oh, right, Asgore. He's a real interesting type of monster, the strongest type of all. We call them boss monsters. When they have an offspring, the sole power of the parents flows into the child, causing the child to grow as the parent's age. Parent, wait. But Asgore doesn't have a child, so he's been stuck at the same age and probably will be forever. Huh? What if the child is a, is a human? What? Nah, that wouldn't work. So if Asgore's your father, he'll definitely outlive you. Huh, interesting. Oh yeah, of course. Doriel was queen and Asgore was the king. It was tragic when she left, since everyone knew she was really the brains behind the throne. But it was also just a teensy teensy bit relieving, you know? Those two are really inseparable together, nuzzling noses, being all cute and cuddly in public, embarrassing their children. They were so sweet it made me sick! Thank god those days are over! And Undyne. Undyne, she's really come a long way since she was a little urchin. I used to be a hero myself back in the old days, Gerson the Hammer of Justice. When she was younger, Undyne would follow me around to watch me beat up bad guys. Sometimes she'd even try to help. Though most of the time the folks she attacked were bad guys. It'd be the mailman or something like that. Anywho, I appreciated it. Wahaha! Be careful out there, kid. Huh. <sighs> so he's gonna live forever because of his armor or whatever? That's interesting. Like, why would he want to continue wearing it? Uh, we go up here at the ghosties house. I forgot. Uh, we got the snails. I did get the key on my second time around to go into the other house. I wonder if anything's changed in there. Uh, snails, what do you guys say? Using its money, the snail bought a hat. <laughs> the housing market will probably crash now. But you know, home is where the heart is. Snail, snail, you reach the end of your extensive journey. Snail, snail, what a long trip. Remember to stretch your muscles. It's a snail. 
You wonder if Toriel has seen it. <laughs> Over here. Oh, hey! Metaton's here! There you are, Frisk darling! Feast your eyes! Dr. Alpha's completed my wonderful new body! Ooh, and did you hear? The barrier's open! I can't wait to see the sun! The greatest spotlight of all! Oh yes, I suppose I should thank you too, darling! Before fighting you, I had forgotten how fun it was to perform with others. So I've been searching for hot talents to fill up my upcoming troop. So far, Shiren's agreed to be my backup singer. And... And BL? Bl Blnaps the Blue Kier will be my sound mixer. The three of us performing together. It really feels overdue, doesn't it? So... Okay, go in here. So this was like a letter to something. Shiren's sister fell down recently. Uh, she got more close than ever. Then she, Blukey, and I. Is this Metaton's house? Seemed like an idea. Um. And this is talking about Blukey asked me if I was going to. Okay. Uh, question: Do I know Shiren and Blukey? Have I met them both? Like, do are there multiple ghosties that we've met, or do they do they just look the same? I don't know. Oh, Minaton, I'm a huge fan. Oh, hi, human. I'll never forget when you cheered me on when I was pretending to sleep. No one had ever had so much fa faith in my fake sleep. Uh, also, this is awkward, but what's your name? Everyone seems to know it now, except me. Seems like I've been missing out lately. I was just sitting at home listening to my tunes. It was a flash of light outside my window. I saw the snails on the farm disappear. Then I heard a knock at the door. The flash of light wanted to come in. I closed the blinds. Now everyone knows your name except for me. Frisk. Okay, I won't forget it. Your name? Frisk. I didn't forget. Because I cried the letters into my hand. Aw, buddy. Uh, nothing else in here, it seems. It's merely a fridge. Uh, we could examine her computer now, if I wanted to. Does that have anything in it? Computer's internet browser is open to music sharing forum. Nothing of interest, really. Huh, so... I'm sorry if I'm just, like, very out of it, but, like, do I know who Bluke is? And... No, because Napsta Bluke was... You're Napsta Bluke, aren't you? Or are you Shiren? Or... The same person? I don't know. I'm sorry if I'm just like very dumb in this regard. If I should know this, but I don't. But just need to piece everything together. So you helped get us all free. I guess I really acted like a dummy to you. Who are you killing, a dummy, dummy? Sounds like only fire lives here now. Still on fire for all eternity. Over here we got a duck. This little bird wants to carry you across. Oh hey, the background's back all of a sudden. Uh, sure, we'll accept the bird's offer. And I look super unamused. La 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 la. I believe I can fly. I believe this is a very long finale episode. I'm sorry if it's very long, but I really like this game and I want to go ahead and just talk about it forever and I don't want to leave. I'm still undecided as to whether or not I want to do the genocide route now or save it for later. Um. Maybe I'll do it now. I just if I you see they're gonna be done now or next year. I have no idea, but maybe I could stream it. I I don't know. It's just that I don't trust the internet really. It's just that I feel like if I stream it, I'm gonna have people spoiling stuff. That's sort of the whole point why I recorded this entire LP in advance is because I don't trust all y'all and your spoilers. Um, I believe down there is not the right way. If we want to go backwards progress like back to Snowden then we're gonna go up here oh I just remember that giant stinking fish is still here up here we got the oh wait no this is where the shop was uh, is there anything in the box it's a box for storing punch cards it's empty right now uh, so we can just go down here so the nice cream guy is like the same guy throughout the entire adventure that's interesting it's an odd looking telescope just go back over here 
Uh, we never found out what this cheese was all about or the mouse hole. I'm sure there's a way to, uh, actually get the mouse to come out, but I don't know how to do it. Uh, what's this? There three gold, three gold for the fairy? Sure. Hop on. Oh god! It's a fast travel system that I didn't know existed. Thank you for stepping on my face. Here's three gold. You got three gold. He pays you three gold to use his service? That's funny. Uh, what the heck is this? The surface intimidates me. The entire outer layer of the earth is made of dirt. Okay. There's so many stinking things that, like, I'm sure I'm missing out on some extra funny things that I didn't know about. Uh... Check wall. It, was, it would've been funny if it said, like, thank you or something. Uh, I don't know. No, I'm sure I'm, like, missing out on a million singing things. There are gonna be so many different options. I thought there'd be, like, a bunch of different endings. Like, I could experience... Uh, I'm sure there are, like, different outcomes to all the things. Like, what if I didn't hug or forgive Azrael in the end? Something different would've happened. But, I don't know. I'm sure they're all just minor, minor things that... I could look up on my own, or you could experience for yourself if you seriously haven't played this game yet. Uh, do it. <laughs> like, I'm sure everyone has their doubts whenever games are, like, super hyped and stuff and just talked about all the time. I was definitely worried that it would not live up to the hype, but it most certainly did for me. I adore this game. It's gonna be one that I remember for a long, long time. It is one of my favorite games of all time. I'm glad I could actually say that instead of just being like, well, it's a mother-inspired game, so I have to like it. No, I truly, truly love it. It was really sinking fantastic. I can't believe how good it was. Oh, here we are back in Snowden. We're almost done with our trip back around the world. It seems so small when you do it all once when you just walk around in one sitting. Uh, it's locked from the inside. I wonder if we could have gotten in here. There's some other things that yeah, there's some just oh, what the heck was over there? What? Uh go back over there. Yeah, there's so many things like are left unanswered. I don't know if it'll get explained in the Genesis. I don't know why I keep saying Genesis. The genocide route? Like that locked door that was down uh, south of Snowden. What is that all about? Can I actually get in there? Uh, I have no idea. I hate you dogs so stinking much. Since your adventure is over, you can now reminisce about how useful the dog shrine was. It wasn't useful at all. But I got ultimate trophies and achievements, so I guess that's cool. Uh, the diary? It's a joke book. Take a look inside. Nah, we're good. Uh, can we go into his closet? Look in the closet. Nothing of interest, really. We never made it into Sans's room, but he's not there right now, so can I go in? Door's locked. How unfortunate. Uh, I don't know what else to say. It's just really a good game. The mailbox is labeled Papyrus. Look inside. It's empty. Oh, buddy. And the mailbox is labeled Papyrus. Wait, no, not this one. Wait, what? Side note, you realize that would probably be illegal. Uh, this mail looks overflowing with unread junk mail. Having a amorphous, shambling family member is great. They're always moving, so I could see them 100% of the time. Oh, it's all the dogs, basically. All of our parents have been combined into one horrible being. That's okay, though. It's really brought our families together. Oh, it's the one hybrid that we fought. He just smiles. A uh, lesser dog is not here, the one with a crazy long neck. Now that their par parents are the same entity, does that mean I'm married to my sister? Wait, we're dogs. That stuff's normal. <laughs> um, I'd be lying if I said it wasn't normal, because I actually do have dogs that married within the family. Like, giving birth to a daughter and then breeding with the daughter to make another daughter. So you have a mother slash sister slash grandchild all I don't know it's weird welcome to the library this last day will be open so make sure you make as much noise as you want Woo Woo great struggle of my life is over I just solved today's junior jumble oh my there's so much news to report I don't know where to begin how about this headline monsters go free from the underground nah that doesn't have enough pizzazz how about top 10 monsters you won't believe got freed from the underground uh she knows how the world works this will be our newspaper's last issue. Why don't we just put a big the end on the front and call it a day? Oh my god, and I love how, like, modern it is. So you could have these pop culture references, these jokes, and it's stinking funny and whatnot. Oh, we're free? Finally, I'll be able to stop smiling. What? Oh, uh, looks like I won't, have no I won't have to worry about cracking jokes anymore. I was going to say, say a joke, but I really don't have one. Sounds like me. Uh, and to Grillby's, got a bunch of people to talk to. 
Soon, I'll be able to try some human food, and then I guess I'll try a human bathroom too. I wonder if there was an overworld has hot guys and neat drinks. Oh, I'm ready. Uh, hey, people won't have to move and move in from the city anymore. Seems like we won't have to lose our local culture. Except we're all moving out of here, so, uh, oh well. I guess it can't be all the punk peaches and punk cream. Uh, good job. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Wow, a brand new world. I might not get to translate for Grillby anymore. Which is fine, since I was actually just making up what he was saying. Oh, Lesser Dog is here! In the end, I never caught any girls in my fishing line, so kid, take it from me. Don't try to catch up people with a fishing rod. Somewhere you hear a whiny, a whinny of dismay. It finally won a game of poker against itself? I didn't pet Lesser Dog all the way, um, during my second go around, so if there's something different with Lesser Dog that changes if you actually did pet him all the way and then go to the, uh, final, uh, true pacifist route, then I unfortunately miss out on that, and that's my fault. Hey, you're not throwing ice anymore. Ice Wolf no longer has to throw ice. Ice Wolf can take a break to buy some pants now. That's <laughs> singing funny. So is he throwing- I don't even know why he was throwing ice. Now he can play monsters and humans with real humans. Hmm, when humans play monsters and humans, do they just call it humans and humans? Seems like this is the beginning of a brand new boundless world. Waha, this is adventure- this is adventurous spirit. I'm like a kid again, and my children are like, double children. Ah, oh, what a beautiful dog. Maybe if I don't answer, I'll hear it again. Ah, oh, my patience rewards me. Okay, nothing else over there. Up here we got the shortcut. We're gonna wait for that a little while. We actually haven't talked to the boat driver yet, so maybe he'll have something new for us. Here's Grillby. I heard Dr. Elvis told the king and queen the awful things he's done. Uh, the king felt so bad that she didn't know that he didn't know he gave her a big hug. Then the queen fired her. <laughs> now we don't have a royal scientist anymore. That's politics. That's politics. Uh, this guy, yeah, what's up? I've been kinda doing some thinking. Maybe Undyne isn't actually as cool as we thought. She's just kinda mean. But yo, I just found out about someone way cooler. Yeah. <laughs> Are you talking about me? It'll be nice to show humans our presence under the tree tradition. They'll probably be weirded out by it. Uh, if only you knew. That kid over there told me the kid that's weird that I have a pet bunny. First, there'd be nothing weird about it. It's cute. Second, what? It's normal to walk your younger brother on a leash, right? Oh god. Uh, is anyone else weirded out by those giant shambling I'm Amelgites or... Uh, let's see, here's the inn. I didn't stay in the inn this time. Hello, sorry, no time for a nap. Snowden is shutting down, so we all have to go to the surface. Mom says we could go to the surface world now. What's so great about that anyway? I don't want to move. Doesn't seem anything really changed in here. Uh, the shop seems to have the most interesting dialogue, so we'll go in here, talk to the bunny again. Hello, Traveler, how can I help you? We'll talk? What happened? I mean, it happened to you, right? There was a strange flash of white light. Then I felt my body being pulled into something. Then, suddenly, everything was back to normal. Human. I heard that it was all because a human came through here. A human. I can finally believe it. I can hardly believe it. Well, if they decide to stop in, I'll be sure to give them a hero's welcome. Did you hear? The ruins have been opened up, and get this, they were opened from the inside. Apparently the queen had been staying inside there for god knows how long. Pretty unbelievable, huh? Future. Well, I suppose I'll move my store to the overworld. Haven't planned, haven't planned much more than that, I'm afraid. Okay, that's about it. Oh, we're almost done here. I don't know if we could go back into... Um, question, are Toriel's... Is the purple Toriel house and the gray Toriel house the same place? Can I go back there from here? We, it would be very convenient in that case if I didn't have to, like, walk all the way back around. Maybe someone on the service will pay attention to me. There's so many people, someone has to, right? Uh, question, is the door unlocked right now? That'd be something. Everyone's leaving, eh? Good riddance. Maybe I'll finally get some peace and quiet. That would be really weird if, like, the real secret true final boss is right in here. Is the door unlocked? It's a door. Can't get in. I tried bringing the key from the one I used to unlock the second ghost house. I thought I could use it here. It didn't work. 
It had a line of dialogue. I can't remember if I recorded that part or not. Um, I'll, maybe we'll find out in the genocide route what that door is all about. Uh, just go over here then. We're almost done with our trip around the world. Oh my god, the singing dog! Oh, I just think I love that dog, even though he's annoying. We're all free? Okay, okay, I'll stop lounging about. Does that dog know? It probably doesn't, does it? Uh, where is the dog? Well, there was a... Seems like the base of a snow dog. Wasn't there someone building the snow dog earlier? The floor inside the box of, Pomer of Pomeranians. Sure, Pomeraisins, no. I remember good old memories and stuff. But yeah, the genocide route. I don't know if I'm going to be doing it now or later. I guess we'll just wait and see. I don't know what else to say, really. This is a phenomenal game. I'm so happy that I got to experience it. I'm sure this LP could have turned out a whole lot different if I wanted it to not be blind, but... I'm... I'm happy with a lot of it. See, the things that I can and can't do when doing blind LPs and regular LPs... If this wasn't blind, it probably would have had voice acting. It would have had, like, voice actors fill in the final part, and I would have had it be a big cinematic experience, but since I'm pursuing acting, I want there to be certain LPs that I get through on my own and do all the voice acting for, like with Rockowin. I could have had a fully voice acted cast for that if I wanted to, but it was sort of my own experience, experiencing that for the first time, and also just delivering those lines, it was just important to me that I got to do that, even though I really like having the voice actors come in for the final episodes of LPs, it's just a very emotional feeling. I, I was just getting so lightheaded and I was tearing up when reading these lines for these characters in the final area. So I hope you're okay with me sometimes being the only one that appears in these videos and delivering the lines. I hope you enjoy my performances. It just improves my uh, ability as an actor and I just enjoy getting to do it. So I'm sure I could have done a I could have gathered a stellar voice cast for this one, but I'm happy that I got to do it the way I did because I had Earthbound be a fully orchestrated thing. Ah, I can feel that piece of me has been well taken care of. Hmm? The barriers opened up? Hmm, then if it's not too much to ask, could you take that piece of me to the surface? I would really appreciate it. Oh god! <laughs> Sneezing. But yeah, uh, what I was saying is that um, I got to give you that experience of just a cinematic experience with Earthbound, having everyone fully voice acted and stuff, but I still get to, I still want to experience those moments myself because acting is important to me, and I'm just happy with the performance and how it turned out, and I hope you are too. The doctor, she brought my wife back from the dead. My son, he seems happy again. Our family, it's bigger than ever. Now that my wife is combined with 16 other people. Snowy. Oh, it's the sad one. Mom might have to share her mind with other people now, but she's still my mom. And that's cool. Cause, uh, we're made of ice and stuff. What? It's a joke. Laugh at it. Okay. <laughs> so we can actually find all the hybrids around here. Uh, we found two of them. Uh, can we actually take the fishing pole? Uh, reel it in. Oh, it's attached to the end. No, never mind, guys. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, keep going around here. Uh, the conveniently shaped lamp. Just a conveniently shaped lamp. Some sort of checkpoint or sentry station. Uh, here we are, where we first met Sands. It seems like it was so long ago, but in actuality, it was pretty recent that all this began. Now the question, can I go back inside the original Toriel house? And if so, is there anything different, or does it just loop back around? Survey says... I really ran out of stuff to talk about. Um... Oh, it is open. It's different? It's, the, it's a different place entirely. Toriel and Asgore have different castles. Okay, this is gonna be something. This door is actually unlocked in the end game. I wonder what's gonna be at the beginning. Just keep on walking. I don't even know what else to say. I wasn't expecting that. 
so they are different castles, it's not going in a full loop, so... Oh, that makes sense then, why the two rooms are under renovations and they're locked and stuff. So this is Toriel's house, Asgore's uh, room is locked off, and then in Asgore's castle, Toriel's room is locked off, it's because they're separated. Room under renovations. Still just you, Frisk. Wow. That's interesting that they do that. So, Sora's di diary, read the passage. Why the skeleton? Nah, nothing new. Doesn't seem like there'll be anything new in here. And that's why... Okay. So that's why Asgore's castle had two beds in here. It was for Azriel and for Human. But... Toriel just had one bed because she only had us. Okay, so that's why the changes happen. It's so amazing just like how what everything means to me now. Most of the pie's gone, there are dog prints in it. Okay, so the dog's around here somewhere. Brand new chocolate bar in the fridge. Uh nothing else really. So now we gotta go all the way back around. Tree. Every time this old tree grows any leaves, they fall right off. So that makes sense how the two castles are different. Now, I'm glad I came back here so I figured that out. Frog it. Ribbit, ribbit. Seems like the ruins have finally opened up. Maybe we should finally go out to the rest of the underground. Oh, the barrier's open too? Let's just take this one step at a time, okay? This castle's basically the same. Oh my god, like, this, there's so much detail that goes into his, like, shout out to Toby Fox, I know he wasn't the only one who made this game, but like, he's the head honcho behind it all, and everyone else who made this game possible, it is legendary, it is truly, truly legendary, in every sense of the word, the graphics have very beautiful moments that, just like very cinematic moments, or just picture frames that make me want to stand still and not progress through the game, I just want to take it all in, it makes it very impactful when I just do that. Um, the music's amazing, the characters are phenomenal, the writing is perfect. It has a perfect, not like a perfect balance of comedy and drama, but a perfect imbalance of just you never know what to expect. And that's sort of the, what makes it so genius. Ribbit Ribbit, yellow names were nice for a while. Next time, we should try a relaxing shade of green. Ribbit Ribbit, did you ever find this room's fourth frog? Uh, did I? Ribbit Ribbit. Say, now that your journey's over, maybe you'll have time to listen to me. Since most people just press circle to skip through my dialogue. That's right. Pressing circle. You've really matured, haven't you? <laughs> uh, did you miss it? Spider bake sale down at the right. I did not give money to the spider bake sale during my second playthrough. Hopefully that doesn't come back to bite me in the butt. Uh, speaking of spiders, there was one in my room and I can't find it. Like, I looked away for half a second to get out of my chair and try and kill it, but it disappeared, so... Maybe it's for the best, because I'm going for the true pacifist run. I couldn't kill a spider in that regard. Uh, leave 7G here. Well, I can afford it now, so I guess I'll do it. And gave me a donut. And 18G in the web gave me a jug. That uh, was the spider cider, I remember. What else is there? Can't do anything with the mouse hole. Looks like the cheese has a nibble taken out of it. So the mouse is here. I want to know if the mouse actually exists. It's like the fabled legend of mouse. The exit's open. Guess I better roll out. Hey, you mind giving me a push, pumpkin? Uh, can I actually push you? I can't seem to actually push you. Okay, and um, just walking up to it made me talk to him, so it didn't actually- I wasn't pressing the talk button, just walking up to it trying to push made him talk. And- oh, I forgot this thing existed! <laughs> oh, this room took singing forever in the first episode. This was like, oh my god, puzzles and stuff, herp derp derp I was wondering, like, would the game just be all puzzles and whatnot, and it kind of is. It's not a perfect game, there were, there were things I didn't entirely like about it. I still think the alpha section is too long. I feel like Muffet should have a more prominent role. Like, her story should be a bit more drawn out and exchanged for Alphys' segment. I think they could have gotten across Alphys and Metaton without making as long as they did, but I don't know. It was definitely not long the second time around. Maybe it was just the puzzle aspect made me think it was long. I don't really know. Uh, excuse me, human. You seem like you have grown to a thoughtful and con con consensuous person. 
Whether that was from my advice or not, I'm quite proud. For a bit. <laughs> I'll give you the credit, frog. Uh, what was I even saying? I don't even remember. This is bad. I literally cannot remember what I was just talking about. I'm sorry that I'm just so scatterbrained right now. Uh, I really don't remember. I had like some sort of intelligent thought, but then the, the frog took it away from me. How sad. Oh yeah, I was talking about alphas and stuff, so things I don't like about the game... It's very minor, it's just that like, that final segment was a bit too long for me, but then it became not so long when I played through it a second time. And I like that the game is so short, so I could go ahead and experience the genocide route just really quickly, or you did the neutral route, and like, it seems weird when you, when you say it out loud they have to play the game again. It's super short though, and you experience something entirely different. So I am very much okay with playing the neutral route first, then going through a pacifist route. And I think you should too. Unless the genocide route is like, the exact same as the neutral route, like do I- is that the same final boss still? It must be something different, I wouldn't expect it to be the same. I still haven't pushed this switch. This will be the beginning of my rebellion, I guess. I will hit this switch in the genocide route and see what it does. Uh, well, I already walked over all those tiles I wasn't supposed to. Uh, is the sign saying anything different? Press X to read signs! That's still the greatest stinking sign in the universe. Uh, got anything else here? Back at the beginning. What could possibly be here? There's gotta be something. They wouldn't open this up to us if there wasn't anything. Oh my god, I was not expecting that. I was not expecting that. Don't worry about me. Someone has to take care of these flowers. Frisk, please leave me alone. I can't come back. I just can't, okay? I don't want to break their hearts all over again. It's better if they never see me. Why are you still here? Are you trying to keep me company? Frisk. Hey, let me ask you a question. Frisk. Why did you come here? Everyone knows the legend, right? Travelers who climb Mr. E Mount Ebot are said to disappear. Frisk. Why would you ever climb a mountain like that? Was it foolishness? Was it fate? Or was it because you... Well, only you know the answer, don't you? That's true, I don't really know why our character wound up in this situation. I assume they're a child, and they came here on their own, but why? We saw those tapes, though. No, because we found out that the human was a different character, it wasn't us. That was not us in those tapes. We don't have a connection to this family. Or do we? I know why human climbed the mountain. It wasn't for a very happy reason. Frisk, I'll be honest with you. Human hated humanity. Why they did, they never talked about it. But they felt very strongly about it. Frisk, you really are different th from human. In fact, though, you have similar uh, fashion choices. I don't know why I ever acted like you were the same person. Maybe the truth is, human wasn't really the greatest person. While Frisk, you're the type of friend I wish I always had. So maybe I was kind of projecting a little bit. Let's be honest, I did some weird stuff as a flower. There's one last thing I feel like I should tell you. Frisk, when human and I combined our souls together, control over our body was actually split between us. They were the one that picked up their own empty body. And then, when we got to the village, they were the one that wanted to... to use our full power. I was the one that resisted. And then, because of me, we... Well, that's why I ended up a flower. Frisk. This whole time, I blamed myself for that decision. That's why I adopted that horrible view of the world. Kill or be killed. But now, after meeting you, Frisk, I don't regret that decision anymore. I did the right thing. If I killed those humans, we would have had to wage war against all of humanity. 
And in the end, everyone went free, right? I still feel kind of sad knowing how long it took. So maybe it wasn't a perfect decision. But you can't regret hard choices your whole life, right? Well, not that I have much of a life left. But that's besides the point. Frisk, thank you for listening to me. You should really go be with your friends now, okay? Oh, and please, in the future, if you uh, see me, don't think of it as me, okay? I just want you to remember me like this. Someone that was your friend for a little while. Oh, and Frisk, be careful in the outside world, okay? Despite what everyone thinks, it's not as nice as it is here. There are a lot of flowies out there. And not everything can be resolved by just being nice. Frisk, don't kill, and don't be killed, alright? That's the best you could strive for. Well, see you. Frisk, don't you have anything better to do? us but he said he's gonna die soon I wonder if there is any way to bring him with us well that didn't do it and I lost it hopefully I didn't need that um I guess that's it. I'm glad I came back though. So here's the final stretch. Thoughts on the LP, thoughts on the game. Even with just those lines of dialogue that I just received from Masriel, that means so much to me. And the message this game spreads came at such an important time. It's just very important. It should be important to everyone, I'm sure. These lines... I feel like the creator was truly trying to help people with this message and this story. I'm really glad I played it when I did because I just needed a story like this in my life right now. Things have been really hard and... I know that there are a lot of flowies or flowies in the world, but it's... I guess it's okay because we just persevere through it all and hope that everything will be okay in the end. Just stay true to your passion and your determination, your... Anything else just just hang on to your sense of humanity. Oh, I almost did that on the first try, that would be cool. This game just means a lot to me and to a lot of other people, I'm sure. It's a beautiful message of just and that this game spreads and that the mother games spread as well. That love is the ultimate weapon. It's the ultimate power. It could conquer all. Of course, they tell you that it may not always work in the real world, but it doesn't mean that you should stop trying to just continue to be a force for good and to just not ever do nothing. I It's very smart how the do nothing option in this game, it's not ever described as doing nothing. You could act or you could spare, 
it's not called doing nothing because you are doing something. It's has some sort of meaning, but your actions have some sort of meaning behind them, and the person you're fighting knows it. It isn't just standing still. It's knowing that what situation you may be in right now, filled with anger and hatred, isn't right, and that the world should not be so vicious and people shouldn't be so venomous and cynical towards one another. Things could change so drastically. All of these people were meant to hate us or fear us because we were human. And they could have justifications for those feelings if we decided to do things different. Papyrus had everything to gain from our capture, but now we're best friends with him. Sans wanted to kill us from the very beginning, but only didn't do so because Toriel said no. Undyne could... Our adventure could come to an end with a phone call from Papyrus telling us that Undyne is searching for us and going to kill us in the human world. But now she's just a big lovable dork and we set her up with a soulmate of her own. And Alphys is someone who I thought was just super annoying but wound up becoming so tragic and uh, had so much burdens that she was carrying all on her own. She just tries to cover it up through comedy and but at the same time she wants to be left alone and wants people to be away from her but it destroys her if that happens. She is just feeling so much pain being left alone so she tries to keep people uh, to stay with her but not but at the same time not seeing the real her. It's incredibly deep. I'm sure you don't need me to tell you that. I'm sure someone else has worded it a million times better than I have. But it's just incredible. Everything this game does is incredible. It's perfect. It is amazing. I'm so happy that I finally got to experience the legend that is Undertale. So... I'm still not sure. I think this is going to be the Halloween LP for this year. Very weird choice for Halloween game, I'm, I know, but I'm actually kind of running out of those uh, games. I don't know. There is one other game I could think of that will be it. Whoa. Oh, hey. I know how to set myself apart now. An ear piercing. Wait. <laughs> what? It's a lump of snow. Yep. Yeah, I'm kind of running low on Halloween games. I know for a fact there's one other game I want to do a Halloween LP of. I'm not sure if that'll be next year. Well, I'm not sure if that'll be next year or if I'll be saving that for a different time. It's just a matter of when I could do it. It's a long story. I, do, I have to do, do I really have to do the puzzle again? Sure. I'll just do this and this. Yeah, I don't know if uh, when that other one is coming or if the Halloween LPs will continue so. I guess I could talk about this now since it's so much freeing that I told you that Midnight and Beyond is 50% complete so I could talk about like end goal plans. April Fool's Day LPs and Halloween LPs, I'm kind of running low on them so maybe it won't be a yearly tradition anymore, I'll keep up with it as long as I can but if I run out of them then I run out of them. Uh, it's been a fun time just, uh, it's been a stressful time doing the Halloween LPs because they always get rushed out at the last second, I hope this one isn't like that. Or maybe I could save it for the last LP of year 7, I'm not entirely sure. Year 7 has a lot of iffy projects, like speak, going back to talking about voice acting, there are two LPs specifically in Year 7 that will be the most voice actor heavy LPs on my channel, so I'm glad I didn't just add to that uh, with uh, making this a voice acted LP. I got to voice the characters myself, and I'm very happy that I got to. It was just a emotional feeling for me as the player, and I just felt it. And that's sort of like part of the blind experience. This is how I express myself, not through... Uh, talking over the cutscenes, not through uh, talking about my thoughts about it, but giving a performance. So I just sort of realized that right here and now as I'm talking to all of you, when I keep on saying I'm at a loss for words, I don't know what to say, I don't know what to do, how, how can I express to you all how I feel right now, how this is making me feel? I end up expressing that through my performances with these characters. That's how I express it to you, so it's very important that I don't ever, that I don't have uh, what you, uh, few million, you weren't a few million pairs of pants today, okay, but, um, that's how I express my feelings to you, by these performances, because 
I don't know if I could have done what I did with those performances if it wasn't blind. Just experiencing that for the first time, feeling that shock, that fear, that terror. It was all genuine and real. And something that I don't know if I could have replicated if I knew it was coming. It was just on the spot and that's how I felt and that's what I wanted to do. And I'm really glad that I did it like that. So, I hope you enjoyed this Let's Play. I hope you've played this game. If you haven't, please do. It means so, so much to everyone who's played it, and I'm sure it'll mean something to you too. It's not just a hype thing, it's not just a matter of, oh, it's the cool thing, it's something that everyone needs to experience, it's so epic. It's more, so much more than just a game. It is a message that everyone needs to experience to better themselves as a human being, and also just to just help them through life. It's so powerful, and everyone really, really needs to experience it, because I really do think it could help people. And that's something that I want to do with whatever I create, whether it's through writing or acting, portraying a character in a story, or creating a story of my own. I ask myself, why do you create? The answer? Because I want to save people, and I want to save myself. I hope all of you at one point in your life ask yourself that question, and I hope you could find an answer to it at some point in your life. That answer is out there. It may take a while, it may change over time, but that answer to why you create whatever it is you do with your existence, it's something that everyone should have, and it's something that everyone can have. So just keep exploring life, meeting new people, continue to be kind, be a force for good, and just keep on trying to make the world a better place, and keep on striving to have better things come in your life, because they will happen. As long as you continue to be an entity of kindness, kindness will come and find you. We made it all the way back around. One last time with the mirror. Despite everything, it's still you. It only changes back in that other one, that's so amazing. I really wish we could have brought Azrael with us. If there is some sort of way, I don't know how, but just imagine us, like, hand in hand, walking all the way back together. I wish we could have done that. I don't know if there is. There probably is, and I unfortunately don't know how to trigger that, but that's part of the blind LP. Maybe I'll make a video just going over everything I missed. Maybe we'll experience it all in the genocide route. I almost said Genesis again. Or maybe you should just play the game for yourself, experiment, do what you want to do, have your own experience. I can never stress this enough, seeing a let's play and playing the game for yourself is a 100% different experience. Trust me on that, you'll feel something completely different with your own playthrough than you did when watching someone else's. I hope I've encouraged someone out there to try out this game if they still haven't done so. Or if you did play this game already and you are experiencing my playthrough then, I hope I gave you some sort of different experience that uh, made it a more enjoyable experience for you. There's still so much that I need to discover, and I look forward to uncovering it all, whenever that may be. But for now, it's time to go home. Thank you all so much for the unforgettable journey. I truly love each and every one of you. And I'll never forget what you've done for me. I hope that what I've done may have been able to help any of you in some way. Thank you.
you all so much for everything. Dear Frisk, how are you? You have been wearing a you've been wandering around for quite some time now. I hope you're not getting into trouble. Only kidding. LOL. Sincerely, Toriel. P.S. Do not get into trouble. Just wanted to make sure, because I just remembered right at the last second that she sent us an extra message. Watching my let's play of Undertale. This is Midnight and Beyond, and I will see you all later. than on TV. Way better. Better than I ever imagined. Frisk, you live with this? The sunlight is so nice, and the air is so fresh. I really feel alive. Hey, Sans, what's that giant ball? We call that the sun, my friend. That's the sun? Wowee! I can't believe I'm finally meeting the sun! I could stand here and Watch this for hours. Yes, it is beautiful, is it not? But we should really think about what comes next. Oh, right. Everyone, this is the beginning of a bright new future. An era of peace between humans and monsters. Frisk, I have something to ask of you. Will you act as our ambassador to the humans? Yeah! Frisk will be the best ambassador! And I, the Great Papyrus, will be the best mascot! I'll go make a good first impression! Yo ho 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 ho! Okay, someone's gotta keep him from getting into trouble. See you guys. Man, do I have to do everything? Papyrus, wait! Hey, Undyne, wait up! Whoops. Uh, should I do something? Well, gotta go. It seems that everyone is quite eager to set off. Frisk. You came from this world, right? So you must have a place to return to, do you not? What will you do now? What? Frisk. You really are a funny child. If you had said that earlier, none of this would have happened. It is a good thing you took so long to change your mind. Hehe. <laughs> well, I suppose. If you really do not have any other place to go, I will do my best to take care of you for as long as you need. 
all right? Now, come along. Everyone is waiting for us. And that is Undertale. So we actually do have a credit sequence, just like Earthbound. Frog it by Toby. Whimson by Toby. Professional frog still a bit guilty. Okay, do anything to read these credits? I don't think so. Mold Small by Toby. Loops by Temmie. Uh, yeah, Temmie actually is a real person uh, who helped develop the game. Casually enjoys life. Why are some of them yellow, I wonder? Uh, Napsta Blue by Toby. Spooky DJ. Oh, wow. What? A Papyrus by Toby and Temmie. Look at his sweet stinking car. Oh, he did get his car out onto the highway like he wanted to. Sands by Toby. Special inspiration, J.N. Wheeldle. Wheel uh... Weedle? Snowdrake by... Uh, a bunch of people. I don't even know what to say. Ice Cap. The be thinking about a tad. It'd be funny if I found characters that I didn't actually find before. Grit Gift Trot. A uh, Christmas display has his own scene, eye dog. Uh, Dogami and Dogarisa. They're making out, even though they're brother and sister. Finally, number one nose nuzzle champions. Lesser dog by Temi and Toby. Greater dog by Temi and Toby. Searching for affection. Excited by life's changes. Uh, I wonder if that would have been different if I. Now I feel bad that I didn't stretch his neck out all the way. How could I have skipped that opportunity? Why are you here? I nice think I hate you. Undyne, designed by Toby. Armor for Temi. Armor by Temi, Fashion Help, JN, Weedle, and GGDG, Alpha Spot, designed by Toby. I don't know why I'm reading all these, but. Uh, they're building sand doggies now. 9999. Oh, Alphys! Oh my god. Seems funny. What the heck is she throwing? Oh, uh, we got Aaron. Stinking Aaron's weird. Moldy. Mold Big. Oh yeah, him. Idyllic Life on the Beach. I wonder. Temi. By Temi. Temi. <laughs> Washua, inspired by a cat, okay. Because some of these enemies you defeat without mercying them, so I guess they're only yellow if I found the way to mercy them? Is there a way to mercy everyone, I wonder? Because, like, for example, with Aaron, I just flex until he disappears. Metaton by Tony. Metaton's amazing. Uh, special inspiration, Rob Sparker, Sarah, Jay, and we Weedle. I'm sorry if your name isn't actually Weedle, that's just what it looks like. So yeah, I wonder, so all the yellow ones are the ones that I was able to mercy instead of just ending the fight in a different way. But I did mercy Lesser Dog, didn't I? Encouraging Space Heater. Finally confesses what? I don't! Pyro Muffet. Muffet's amazing. A spider success with a new bakery. Candle in the world's largest birthday cake. Oh, it's just like, what they, where are they all now? Royal Guards by Toby, use your imagination. Final Frog, it whims a lot. The long battle finally ending, giving life its own meaning. Uh, as to Megasm by Toby, Domineering Glasses Seller. Magic by Toby and Night Knight. Uh, street Magician taking a well-deserved nap. Amaliot's Unknown? Interesting, living with their families. That's probably a thing, I don't know. Uh, what do we got? Oh my god, look at it, stinking Asgore with a stinking Hawaiian shirt. Asgore by Toby, Monster Kid by Magnolia Porter. I don't know why the Monster Kid is so important. Uh, making a papyrus stinking thing. Toriel by Toby. School. Oh, she became a teacher like she wanted to. Oh god. Oh, am I in trouble? Please don't tell me I'm in trouble. Did I do something wrong? What? Oh god. Oh my god. Oh no, what did I do? What did I do? Did you really think it was over? I mean, we haven't even done the special thanks yet. Ready? Let's end all this for good. Oh god, what am I doing? HP infinity, what, what, what do you want me to do? Uh, you want me to make them all yellow? Okay. 
I'll try my darndest. Not doing a very good job, but a whole lot of singing special thanks people are going by. Uh, I don't know if this game had like a GoFundMe or whatever, or if this is just like- Oh god, there's no way you can actually get all of them. A lot of singing people getting special thanks. Uh, I apologize if you can't see all their names. You can pause the video to see who everyone is. That's really singing cool that so many singing people supported this game. Oh, dip! Got a lot of singing people. My god, the Undertale credits. Remember when I was all like, I could give my thoughts on the game now because the credits aren't going to be all that long. Apparently not. Jeez. And wow, okay. How are all these stinking people? Is it like the entire Starman.net forums in here or something like that? My god. Oh, uh, just keep on tapping, keep on zapping. That'd be stinking amazing. Like, you know, I have an account on the Starman.net forum, so is my name in here somewhere? And I just don't know about it? I want to find out who all these people are. Are they GoFundMe people? Are they, like, personal friends? I have no idea. It'd be amazing if my name was in the credits and I had no idea. Someone would have told me. Nah, they didn't tell me. He's like, there's so many things of names! It's so easy to miss some of them. Oh my god. Just keep on going. Keep on going. Oh my god, so many stinking names. Uh, what does it all mean? Just keep on going, keep on going, attack all the names and- I saw Jeff in there. Uh, my name is Jeff. I'm sure it wasn't th that Jeff, though. Uh, I saw Reed. Uh, Reed's a cool guy. He made Camp Fangamer or something like that. Touched credit. Oh, what? I only have a small amount. That's it? I got more than that though, didn't I? Thanks to friends and family for supporting us and Undertale team Thanks for you the player from the bottom of our hearts without you all this would not have been possible Good night. They say good night just like me Thank you all for watching my Let's Play of Undertale. This is Midnight and Beyond, and I will see all of you next Let's Play. Stay determined and sweet dreams.